Hello and welcome to another tune for media lesson. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a cool chord automator uh, using just simple Ableton plugins. Uh, the main reason I came up with this idea is that I wanted to create a chords loop, uh, but instead of just being a regular loop, I wanted to add some excitement and let the computer choose the voicing of each chord randomly. So each time a chord is being played, you don't know what the voicing is going to be like. Uh, so it creates a lot of variety and excitement in your music. Okay, so let's start. So I'm just going to load up an operator. Just going to do some kind of a nice pad sound. So I have this kind of piano sound. Okay, so next I'm going to go to MIDI effects. And no, I'm not going to choose the chord uh, because this won't let me have... Uh, random notes this is just fixed chords so I'm um, first I'm gonna load up a MIDI effect rack and I'm gonna put here random okay um, and I'm gonna choose 50% random and I want it to jump from high to low and I want it to be in octaves so I'm just gonna put 12 for octaves and I want to have just one choice in each direction. So it will jump just one octave above and one octave below uh, in 50%. So now that I'm, if I'm playing a note, uh, it will jump in 50% chance randomly uh, one octave higher or one octave below. Okay, cool. I'm going to um, open in the MIDI effect track my chain and I'm going to call this one root. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to call this one fifth. I'm sorry, fifth. So in this chain I'm going to add pitch and I'm going to go a fifth higher or in this case I'd like to go a fourth lower, so basically the same. So now I have a root and a fifth randomly jumping every time I hit a note. Now I'm going to add this major third and I'm always going down because I don't want it to jump too high in my range. So now I have a, tri a major triad uh, randomly voiced every time I hit a note. Awesome. Let's add some more notes, so I'm going to add a major 7. Cool. Now, what if I want different chords? So I'm going to go to chain, and I'm going to stretch the root and the fifth from the first channel of the chain to the second one as well. And the major third and the major seventh, I'm going to just leave like that. And I'm going to duplicate each one of them like that. And I'm going to change it. So this is going to be minor third. And I want this to be minor seven. And so minor third and minor seven. I'm going to move them both to the second channel. Now what I can do is I can map a MIDI note and let's just we have just two chords right now so I'm just gonna select between 0 to 1 so now I have a switch mapped here to switch between the different types of chords so I can come up with interesting uh, chord progressions and let the computer randomly choose the voicing of these chords And if I create a loop, pretty cool because now I have kind of a reach 
sounding loop that changes all the time. Uh, I can add some more interest. I can go here and let the second and third oscillators to react to velocity and choose velocity, put it here, and also create random velocities like that. Uh, so I'll have a little more variety in sound and texture and not just the voicing. And here's another fast trick just for dessert. I'm just going to put the arpeggiator and create it free in sync. So it will be pretty fast, like 30 milliseconds. Uh, let's just also bring the attack here. And just one repeat. And I kind of have this strumming sound. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this. And if you like this, please subscribe for more. And see you next time. Stay tuned.